Hey guys, welcome back to TechOr Duo. In this video, we're going to install Alpine Linux along with Docker. So what that's going to allow us to do is to have a Linux distribution that allows us to install Docker images. All right, so let's get started. All right, so why don't you guys go ahead and head to alpinelinux.org. All right, so this is a small, simple, secure Alpine Linux is a security oriented, lightweight Linux distribution based on MUSL, libc, and busybox. All right, so from here you can go to downloads and you have a variety of downloads here. So for my instance, I have the virtual download. I hit the x86-64 version and have that downloaded. Uh, what I'm gonna be doing is just having it in a virtual environment under my VMware. All right, so I'm just gonna create this VMware quickly so that we can start installing it. So I'm gonna call this an Alpine Alpine test, ESXi, virtual machine. I'm just gonna have this as a Linux and we're gonna go ahead and choose. We're gonna just choose uh, other Linux. Uh, we'll just do Linux 64 bit, that's fine. Next, there's no um, option there for Alpine itself. So this is just my, um, my NAS here that is supporting all of my images. We're gonna click next. I'm going to pick my hardware for this. I'm going to give it two CPUs. We'll give it gigabytes, a total of four. And our hard disk will be 40 gigabytes. And from here, our VM network. Great, our host device. We're going to click data store ISO. I have already uploaded it. So if you guys want to get this uh, download up there, you can just click upload. You'll be able to upload your image to whatever folder you'd like. I'm gonna click my Alpine image, select next and finish. All right guys, so now you just wanna power on the machine. I'm gonna go ahead and just console into it. it should pop up here for me. I'm gonna minimize this and I'm gonna expand it. All right, so the localhost login here, the default is just root. So if you guys are doing this uh, with a physical um, ISO or on a, you know, such as a physical machine, you guys are just gonna follow the exact same steps. It should all be very similar. Setup dash Alpine, we're gonna hit enter. So it's gonna ask us for our keyboard. Um, I am in the US, so I'm gonna type in US. It's gonna ask us for variants. We're gonna type in US again. And now it's gonna ask us for a host name. We're gonna type in Alpine test. And now it's asking for our uh, network interface. And so it's ETH zero, that is mine. So I'm gonna hit enter for default. IP address for ETH zero. It's gonna be DHCP. So it's gonna, I'm gonna allow it to just pick one from the router. The router is gonna hand an a, uh, IP address out to the machine. So I'm just gonna hit enter. And do you wanna do any manual configuration? I'm just gonna do no. So hit enter on that as well. And now let's enter the password. Okay, which time zone? I'm gonna go ahead and hit question mark. As you can see, there are a bunch of time zones here. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in EST, capital EST. Just make sure you do have the capitals in there for the uh, time zone. Otherwise it will reject it. You'll just have to make sure you type it in correctly as listed there. So now it's asking for a proxy. So we're gonna just hit enter for none as the default and now we have a bunch of mirrors um, and repositories here so what we want to do is also hit enter for the default but if you wanted to select it you could also um, press the number type in the number here to, and to get the mirror that you want to use I'm gonna go ahead and just hit enter for this and it's gonna click it's gonna find the fastest repository for us So this will just take a, um, about two or three minutes or so for it to go through all the mirrors um, and get all the appropriate information that we need for our install. So uh, we'll skip ahead in just a minute. All right, so from here, it's gonna ask us which SSH server we wanna use. I like to use Dropbear, but if you guys wanna use OpenSSH, you can just hit enter as that's the default. So I'll hit enter on that. Now it's asking us which NTP client. I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter for this for Crony. Okay, so that's starting. All right, so now it's asking us which disk we want to use. So I'm going to type in SDA as that's the available disk that we want to choose. 
hit enter. And now it's asking us how do we want to use it. So we're going to do uh, sys. So this is um, a virtual machine uh, image that we're going to ins install the Docker application and it's going to host all of our Docker apps on it. So I'm going to hit enter. And there it goes. And now it's asking us to erase. We'll click Y and hit enter. And now it's uh, going through the process. Should be really brief. Okay, and that's it. So uh, before we do a reboot, let us make sure that we have our uh, data store turned off here so it doesn't boot back up to the image. We'll click save, we'll just hit yes on this, and we'll go back in here and we're gonna just type in reboot. So this should just uh, restart for us, there we go. Okay. So it looks like we have an IP address of 86.14. So let's just log in briefly. And here we are. So if you guys want to see what your IP address is, you can type in ifconfig and it'll tell you right there. It'll say your INET address is 192.168.86.14. That is mine. So what I want to do now is install the Docker um, the Docker application. So that allows us to install the Docker images. So it's a little bit easier for us to do it via PuTTY. So I'm going to go ahead and get PuTTY uh, up and running on here. So let's just minimize this. Let's go ahead and open up PuTTY. And I'm going to type in the IP address that was listed there. Hit enter. It's going to ask us to accept the key here. Click yes and now it wants to log in. So let me just make this a little bit bigger for us to see. Make it bold, 18, all right. So here's Putty, and if you guys wanna download Putty, you can guys can get it from putty.org. Um, they, they have a bunch of installers there. So let's go ahead and do root, and then our password that we created earlier, and now we're in. So to install the Docker, uh, install Docker on Alpine, new Docker, on Alpine, and there's a great wiki article on how to do the entire install. It's very quick, it's short, so let us go ahead and we're just gonna put this to the side, and we're gonna have this guy sitting here on the left-hand side. So um, we'll just um, put it over here to the right. We'll change the uh, size here just a little bit. There we go, perfect. So we're gonna do APK, add Docker, but we're gonna, what you're gonna notice here is uh, Docker missing, so it's not able to find it. So what we have to do now is add the repository that allows us to install Docker. And in order to do that, let's go ahead and first um, install Nano, apk add Nano. So I just prefer using Nano to edit um, files and documents inside of Linux. So I'm gonna do, now that Nano's added, Nano, and I'm gonna type in the, um, the path here to the repository file, apk, repositories. Now, as you can see here, there are um, a few lines here. They have the pound symbol in front of them, which means that they're not active. This one is right here. This is the main one. So I'm gonna scroll down right underneath it. I'm going to copy this link and I'll paste it right there. So there we are. So you can hit control X Save, modify, you wanna hit Y, and then hit enter. And there we go, so now it's saved. So from here, let's go ahead and do an APK update. APK, add Docker. Oops, spell, added an E there. APK, add Docker. That's real quick. And then we're gonna do an RC-update add docker boot so that will allow the docker service to start on boot up so then from here let's go ahead and just do a service docker start because docker is not started yet we just have to start it and from then on every time we reboot the system it should uh, enable docker and turn it on 
All right, guys, then, so that's about it. So now we have Alpine Linux installed. We have Docker installed. Uh, we have Docker running at boot whenever we restart Alpine. Uh, and then from here on out, I plan on making some Docker image uh, installs and how-to videos. So just follow along, and um, if you have any requests, please let me know. Like and subscribe, and enjoy your day.